to an ABC News exclusive now, the CEO of an American giant, Microsoft, Satya Nadella, for the first time in a network interview talking about that gaffe, setting off a firestorm telling women who want a raise, don't ask for one, just have faith. ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, tonight asking him if he regrets those comments and what his own wife had to say about it. Is this what you do on your lunch break? <laughs> Tonight, the CEO of Microsoft in his first network interview since that day he made headlines, taking us inside the room where he and his team are building the next big thing. We're building the future. It's a lot of fun. And 10 years from now... Satya Nadella, a case study of the American dream, one that he believes should be available to everyone, which is why he knew almost immediately he was wrong when he gave this advice to women about asking for raises. It's not really about asking for the raise, but knowing and having faith that the system will actually give you the right raises as you go along. That's good karma. It'll come back. What did your wife say to you after she heard those comments? Both my wife and my mother had interesting things to say to me. My mother, being a Sanskrit professor, educated me on the use of the word karma. So you got schooled by I your mom? I got absolutely schooled. He apologized to his wife, his mother, and his employees and says he wants to make Microsoft a company that's 50-50, men and women, pushing innovation, too. This is very cool. This wheelchair for patients with Lou Gehrig's. You can actually drive it with your eyes. But nothing more hotly anticipated than these glasses developed in secret. The HoloLens, to me, is the next new gadget. You can just get up and walk on Mars right in your office. I did that. You can play Minecraft mixed in with the environment of a room. Are you living the American dream? I think so. I think the U.S. and um, has just been absolutely a dream. The American dream. Rebecca with us now. He was very candid with you in this interview. And he has two daughters of his own. Two daughters and a son. He says he gets it. He made a mistake here. He's building this future for them. He wants Microsoft to be a 50-50 company. 50-50. All right, Rebecca Jarvis, thank you.